A living wreath is a fresh and festive way to decorate your door, your deck, or anywhere you can use some uplifting and some gorgeous greenery. There are options galore. Here to walk us through some of them, Kath Smythe of the Calgary Horticultural Society. A living wreath. I know, and it gives a whole new meaning to feeling like you're in the woods. Too. It's Oh, it smells so wonderful over yes. here. So it's like succulent day here on Breakfast yes, Television. Yes, it is. So you are also dealing with succulents here. Yes, I am. And what I'm using are some of the outdoor, like the hen and chicks that everyone knows. And because succulents are enjoying such a resurgence, we're seeing designer succulents. This one's called Hey Hey. That's Hey Hey, yes. <laughs> Isn't that great? That's and awesome. all they've done is they've gone through the, through the hen and chick patch and they've found ones that are naturally the way Arno and Reinhardt are, are over there. So a little bit different. Yes, and so at this time of year I start digging mine out of the garden and finding where I buried them because I hide them and cover them with dead leaves and all of that. Well, you were telling me that this particular uh, living wreath has been around for three years. And yes. it, it has been living throughout the winter underneath some leaves in your yes. backyard. So a lot of these succulents can actually survive a Calgary winter, Well, which is you see, these came out of the garden at Countryside out at DeWinton yesterday. They're just there. And they're there. So I just take them out because I look at them as pretties. <laughs> <laughs> My pretties. My pretties. It's a ring. Okay, so what are we using as a base here? Let's well, start with the Well, the what moss. I'm starting with is a woodland moss that we gather in the, in the spring because it has a good soil content to it. Okay. And then what I've done is I've mossed it onto an old-fashioned florist frame, and I've used wire. So this is the same thing you would use to make for a Christmas, Christmas wreath. wreath? Yes, and I use just florist wire and just gently attach them. Unlike with the Christmas wreath, we make it really strong. For this one, we loosen it up a bit because what we do is chopsticks. Whenever I go to a Chinese food restaurant, look out for me because I'm because she'll be taking I'll be the chopsticks. taking the extra chopsticks. <laughs> and if I order takeaway, the man at the restaurant always says, you want extra chopsticks? I go, yes. So what I usually do is I look to see that they have a good strong root ball. Okay. And, or if I want a nice cluster like a bow of it, I look for the really long one. And I take, and I use my chopstick, You're and I just generally stick it in. Uh -huh. And then we use what they call mossing pins, or florist pins, and we just push them and hold them into place. It's kind of like a bobby pin, but yeah, for, it for is. A Actually, I bought bobby pins a few years yeah. and used them when I can't get enough of these. And then you just continue your Beautiful. way around and you're just gently forcing, not forcing, but you make a hole with your chopstick and it's like using a knitting needle to rethread a sweater. So where do you, uh, when you have a finished product, where do you, where do you keep it? What do you do with it? What's well, an the ideal first, location? Well, the ideal it? location at first is to lay them flat. Okay. Because all root systems are geotropic. They're drawn to the ground. So if you lay them flat for about the first three weeks, they're ready to go out in the garden and hang up on a door. I keep mine on a little yellow chair sitting in my garden, and it just sort of fills the space. And it's an old chair that I really like, so it looks looks great. Once and it's I, settled though, do you need to do need to do anything with them? Well, the it? only thing that I usually will do is make sure they get the the moss itself needs to be moist. Okay. So about every three to five weeks I moisten the moss. Th three to five weeks? Yeah, that's all you need to do. It's wonderful and you can make them look so pretty with all the extra add-ins with them. I mean I hunt through the garden shops and everything for leftover house plants and take these apart to use just to pin them in and around. Succulents are very, very forgiving. They'll root into this beautifully. The squirrel got part of my echeveria, right. so I'm going to take that and break it into pieces and add it into the new wreath. Well, you can learn how to do this uh, with Kath at the Calgary Zoo. There's an event coming up, yes. Living Wreaths, Sunday, April 27th from 10 till noon. You can have your own. These are really cool. Oh, they're the funnest thing, as my niece would say. <laughs> they are. Uh, for more information on Kath and this particular event, head to breakfasttelevision.ca. Lovely to see you as Lovely. always.